I could also rewrite this again as mu is zero, uh, two pi over omega is the period. I could have four x cubed r squared. Q over t is equal to i r squared over 4x cubed. And remember, i r squared is equal to the magnetic moment over uh, pi, right? So mu 0 mu over 4 pi x cubed. OK? What was the, what was the uh, result of the other one? The current carrying wire was magnetic field is mu 0 mu over 2 pi x cubed. So that means the magnetic field of the disk, when it goes to infinity, it decays quicker. So it's half of the magnetic field of the current carrying wire. So the behavior is, uh, makes sense, and you can see that uh, this is doable. Now let's actually get a number. So what is the magnetic field strength? So let's say we have the charge. Uh, let's say we have the charge is equal to two microcoulombs, and omega is six radians per second. Let's say the radius of the disk is uh, one meter, and let's say the distance, well, actually, let's make it like this. So it's actually easier to calculate three, and then x is four meters, okay? So just to get an idea of what kind of number we're getting here. So the magnetic field equation was coming out to be mu zero omega q over two pi r squared, square root of r squared plus x squared plus x squared over square root of r squared plus x squared minus two x. So let's see here what's gonna come out. Mu zero is four pi times 10 to the minus seven Omega is six radians per second. Q is two microcoulombs. Uh, and you have two pi r squared. R is equal to three. Square root of three squared plus four squared. I made it on purpose so it's five, okay. My, uh, plus x squared, which is 4 squared, over, and then this is also 5, minus 2 times 4. So just to have the numbers work out. So the 2 pi cancels with the 4 pi. 2 times 10 to the minus 7. And then you have here uh, 6 times 2 is 12, times 10 to the minus 6 over nine, five plus 16 over five minus eight, okay? So we're gonna get here uh, 12 times two divided by nine, that comes out 2.6666 uh, repeating sixes times five plus 16 divided by five minus eight, okay? <clears throat> so it comes out 0 0.533 times 10 to the minus 13 Teslas. So it's pretty weak, okay? A point O oh, five three three. Because if you go this way, you have one less, right, that you have to do. 0.0533 Pico Teslas. Pretty weak. Now, if I want to make this stronger magnetic field, of course I can make it two coulombs instead of two micro coulombs. And all of a sudden, the magnetic field goes up a factor of six. Now we have 0.0533 micro Teslas. Okay? Now that's similar to the magnetic field of the Earth, kind of in the right range. If we want to make it even stronger, it could actually be noticeable. I can have a charge spinning. I can make the omega more. I can make the omega 600 radians per second. So that's really, really fast spin rate. So what's, what's, what's that going to do? That's going to increase this 5.33 micro Tesla. Okay? 
Well, that's pretty much in the right range for a magnetic field of the Earth because the magnetic field of the Earth is 2.5 times 10 to the negative 5 Teslas, which means the magnetic field of the Earth is 25 micro Teslas. Okay? Five micro Teslas is one fifth <coughs> the strength of the magnetic field of the Earth. Okay? So I'm sort of in the right range, and the compass will pick that up. So if I make this charge essentially more, increase the rate, and of course I could get closer to the disk, I could make the x even less, and uh, that's also all going to help the um, magnetic field to get stronger and more noticeable. So definitely this is something that you could make, and it could be something that you could even put a compass and notice this. So you can see here how we use the the result that we had gotten from before and then with some integration, and now we could get the magnetic field of other things, such as rotating disks. You could also get magnetic field of rotating sphere and do other kinds of interesting problems. Thank you.